Welcome back, everyone. While holiday celebrations with the family are traditionally cheerful, many find these annual reunions stressful between the personality clashes, conflicts that seem to resurface each and every year, and relatives who are simply unpleasant. There is a lot that can go wrong, but there are things that you can do to keep yourself out of that battlefield. We thought this was a perfect time to weigh in on this today at Real Talk. Kara stuck around. Author Dina Babel is back, and so is local business owner, my dear friend, Julie Jones. Welcome. Hi, Hi. I'm so happy you're here. Okay, so in a New York Times article, psychotherapist Mike Dow shared tips for dealing with difficult relatives, tricky relationships over the holidays. See if you agree. Okay, number one is stick to the things that you have in common. Um, family mem uh, how family members are doing, uh, pop culture, sports, Travel, that's always an easy, good one. Um, anything that you can find commonality in talking about. Um, uh, do you have kind of, it's really sad that we probably have had to do this in the last few years yeah. since the election. Uh, you know, people started mm -hmm. realizing there were certain trigger conversations. But we, do you have a go-to thing that if something's getting ugly, you immediately go, mm -hmm. How about those braids or something? Yeah. Kara, what do you I think? I feel personally attacked by this subject. Um, <laughs> I'm like, why are we talking about this today? Kara. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I guess just diversion is good. Like, if you feel somebody kind of getting up in arms, like, it's good to go in and just... I mean, I'm like the... I'm the worst because I'll tell the most embarrassing story about myself to get like the focus off of things and my husband's always like you know you don't have to tell everybody that you peed your pants once like that's <laughs> like, like you, you know you don't have to do that I'm like but people were like they, yeah. I just got nervous and I just tell a story yes. that nobody needs to know about at least that makes everybody happy Does, I, yes. Yes. my diversion is the Hallmark channel in all honesty because it's all positive <laughs> yes. and happy for the that's what I keep the channel on me too but also I honestly have thought about this and we've all thought about this every season when we go through something like this and we see family members or friends and we're trying to figure out how to handle the day I try to think of what's positive about the person and just something I really like about them. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my brother really likes to hunt, so I think about deer season and I talk about that with him. Good. Or right. my mom likes to talk about recipes or whatever, and so just worrying about, you know, her diabetes for the day. Right, I right. I let her just do what she wants to do. Yeah. Like just yeah. find the positive and love them for who they are and not take it so serious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Until the next day. Until yeah. the next day. Yeah. Julie, yeah. I want to get to you for point number two because sure. we've had these kinds of discussions. What about focusing on your yourself and the things that you can control. Kind of along the lines of what Dina said, if you're going into that meal in a good mood, guess what? It might be contagious, infectious. <laughs> <laughs> not contagious or infectious or both. So, Everybody's going to feel good. If you're kind of leading the way with that, um, it really can have that positive kind of snowball reaction. Um, do you find that, because you're such a positive person, do you I find try. that, that <laughs> you're able to do that if you feel things going awry? I do, and I also feel like you, you hit the nail on the head. Don't take it so seriously and create a diversion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we host a lot of our family functions. So I try to do something fun, whether it's bring an old picture from way back when and let's all pass them around. Or a crazy hat party yes. is always fun. Obviously, the ugly sweater is always yes. a hit and give a crazy <laughs> prize. But just keep it not so serious. It's the right. holidays. You're supposed to be having fun right. and not so stressed out all the time. Right. right. But it's hard. I think it's like it is, if, if you're the person which sometimes we all can be, uh, that we're talking about here, it's hard. We have to remind ourselves, like, let's rise above it all mm -hmm. um, and focus on the positive and, yeah, control the controllables, which is just you. Change right? the narrative. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. change the narrative. Okay, number three, take the opportunity to learn. Experts suggest asking yourself what you could learn from the situation, even if it's only that you've grown so much from last Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, talk to relatives, see if you can see things from their point of view. Mm -hmm. Kara, what do you think about that one? Yeah, I love that one, actually. Um, my husband and I are, I think, both very good at this. My husband more so than me. Like, I I mean, I'll lose him at a party. Like, I mean, not even talking to somebody at the party. He'll find, like, somebody in the parking lot, and he's very interested <laughs> yeah. in what they're doing, how they live their lives. And I'm always like inspired by that in a way because I'm like that's so cool like just yes. to be interested about people and have like a genuine authentic interest in, right. in yeah. other people it's fun find yeah. out what they're about you know right. people love to talk about their Them kids yeah, yes. or, or themselves, themselves. Yeah. and um, instead of talking about yourself get to know that other person yeah, yeah. I think the ugly sweater 
thing is a big deal too, though. Kara gave me an ugly sweater last year. Do you remember we did? Uh, the, do you remember your black oh, yeah, yes, sweater yes. with like the reindeer? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I cardinal? seriously yes. have worn it a couple of times. It's got a cardinal oh, on it, and the it meant something because mm -hmm. my mother-in-law passed away and she loved cardinals. Yes, I remember saying And so that. I wore it as a joke, but then I was like, oh my God, it means so much around this yeah, time of year. Yes. So it's diversion and it's yes. happy times. Seeing I love a beautiful, that. Ugly sweater. Yeah, she was like, that's your ugly sweater. I was like, yeah. She's, and then you told me the story. I was like, I want. You have to have Yeah, it. and I still oh, have it. Oh, still, isn't that a sweet love yeah, story? Nice. I should have worn it today. You should have. I know. I, I love you. Uh, can John bring it before the segment ends? <laughs> hurry quick, up, hurry up. Quick. Okay, number four, and this is a hard one. Don't take things personally. If a relative mm -hmm. seems determined to pick a fight, you have got to just, you know, back away. And just you remember, you're not going to change people's opinions most mm -hmm. of the time. I mean, you would hope right. people would be open minded. But at the end of the day, you're not. So don't no. try. Don't take it personally. Jim does this a little bit with my brother. I don't know what my brother sometimes is sarcastic, whatever, but he can get under Jim's skin. Mm -hmm. And Jim will tell me the top five things my brother has done in 14 years. And, uh, <laughs> and it really annoys me. And we talked about it in therapy. Um, but, I'm like, but I'm like, dude, uh, don't. Well, it, like maybe he was having a bad day, or right. and was it really that bad? I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I mean the holidays is not the time to air out the dirty laundry. Yes. Yes. There's usually alcohol involved yes. in the holidays. Or too much alcohol. Or too much, and yes. liquid courage strikes, yes. and people say what they probably shouldn't, and yes. just. You know, leave it alone. That's not what the holidays is about, is right. to figure out, okay, why are you really mad at me? Or why do you do this every time we get together? Right. Just take a step back. Yes. I feel like sometimes around the holiday, silence is the loudest voice. And my wise grandmother mm. used to mm. say, the less that you yeah. say, the yeah. less you have to answer for. You know what else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me say right this. Everybody's got <laughs> their... I will. I'll put it in there. Everybody's got the things they do during the holidays. And I was guilty of letting everybody else cook. Because my yeah. mom and my brother, my brother's a great chef and he cooks really well. So I got tired of them kind of acting like I just lay around. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to add something to the party. I'm going to try to cook. I'm going to do something. And just that little bit of right. interest. Not that I wasn't interested. They just do it better. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to try to add something. And I saw a big difference. Wow. So I, I did. I think changing it up, my red velvet cake. Aww. It's got marshmallow icing. Yeah. Um, Aww, where did that? I know. Bring, where this I know. Where did they bring the cake? Uh, I, got right. I burned it because I had too much Pinot Grigio Aww. at Thanksgiving. But I think <laughs> I think if you if you add something to, that they think you're not going to do, right. they're like, oh, she's going to come in, blah blah blah, or she's going to talk about this. Just change it up. Yeah. Yes. 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 Like, yes. Like, yes. I like walks, I like family too. walks to just yeah. get out mm -hmm. of the kitchen. You know, talk about cooking all the time and right. it gets hectic. And as Italians, we say, can I, I get that. some help in the kitchen? And yes. then it's Everybody get out of the kitchen. You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> yes. One of yeah. Step outside the box yeah. and take a walk around the neighborhood. Yes. And get some air. The endorphins are going. Yeah. 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 That's a really, a really good idea. That is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. I think like really the snowy atmosphere, <laughs> you know, environment. Right. And you got to be careful walking yeah. in the snow. It's snow boots. <laughs> Especially think, if you're drinking. Yes. Right. Right. Maybe that's not a good idea. I just think life is much easier to live when you don't take things as personally, which is the hardest thing to do. But I can be like even too much on the other side. Like somebody could probably say something really mean to my face. Like, I don't even understand what you're saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, you are. She, she, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, like, she lets things roll off as she does. Yeah. It's probably not good. No. I should be somewhere in no, the middle. No, it's a blessing. It's a wonderful quality. I don't want to seem like I don't care because I care. Everybody knows you care. You yeah. care about. <laughs> it's a great quality. It really is because you're like, I think you just hurt my feelings, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to go get some more Pinot Grigio. Take my <laughs> All right, I love this because we're talking about walking away. The next one is uh, just step away from the table. If you're physically uncomfortable and attempts to change the subject have not worked, know yourself. So here's the question you need to ask yourself. Are you a walker or, or are you an engager? Mm. Think about that. Kara, what do you? Um, I think I've become more of an engager. Um, a healthy engager? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, like you said earlier, I think there's like a time and a place for everything right. yeah. too. So maybe like in the holidays is it when you start practicing to be an engager. <laughs> right, right, right. No. You know? <laughs> let's, let's maybe just take a little minute. So tell yes. me about your yeah. weight loss plan. <laughs> yeah. Right. Unless the party calls for it, I guess. Yes. I guess learn how to engage. With Plus there could be children in the room or other eyes and ears that you have to be Absolutely. careful your tone and yes. what you say and how you say it. Because yeah. they're picking up on They are picking sure. up. So I guess I'm a bit of a walker. 
You're a walker? <laughs> yeah. How are you Italian and a walker? You just, I admire you. She walks yes. away talking. Yeah, exactly. yeah, talking to herself oh, yeah. in a good way. Yeah, right. going, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Dina, walker? Or? Uh, no, I'm an engager. I yeah. talk to everybody. I want to know everybody's business, what's bothering them, and then, <laughs> yeah. you know, everything. And then I'm like, it's okay, let's talk about it. Let me get real yeah. deep down in your soul. Yes. So that's my issue. I have to just keep it surface and try right. not to, you know, yeah. change the right. world all at the dinner right. table. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Okay, in this last minute of uh, focusing on having fun, the more that people are at ease, the more conversations tend to flow. I mean, it's, again, easier said than done, or is it? Like, or, or we, we just overthink it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all oh, the stress of the holidays. No, let's just right. really embrace it. I think you it. hit the nail on the head. I think it's overthinking. Yeah. Because if you think of it like I'm just going to lunch with a friend, right. and I, I'm just going to see a couple people, and I'm going to yeah. engage and find out what's going mm. on in their life. Yes. And mm -hmm. what they want to talk about instead of making it about what happened when you were six. Right. right. And yeah. it should be, the holidays should be making memories. Not making enemies or right. anything yes. like that. It's but, also yeah. such a beautiful time that you never, everything's not going to be like this next year. Right. You never know you who's going to be know. around or what's going to happen. Absolutely. And a lot of people struggle during the holidays. Mm -hmm. And so thinking about that and the people that you do have in your life, whether they get on your nerves one day or not, it's such a big deal. And we got to obviously give thanks and yeah. be and yes. a celebratory mm -hmm. part of life because we have all this and we're hopefully doing good things. That's what Christmas is all about. Amen. Yeah. I love y'all. Yeah. I'm so love happy and grateful for y'all. I love it. Oh, I love it. it. it great up. piano. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to make it real fun this year. And Jim, you better too when we go to Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding.